What does it mean to seek first the kingdom of God? Furthermore, is the kingdom of God a place or... And how do we know if we're truly seeking God's kingdom first? Well, stay plugged into this video till the end because I am here by God's grace to provide you with a better understanding of the kingdom of God. Before we get into the meat, I want you to know that this channel exists to provide teen girls and young women like you with practical tips to live your best life in Christ and much more engaging lifestyle content. So do join the family by subscribing today and hitting the bell notification so that you stay up to date with everything that we've got going on. Okay, cool. So let's start with this. What is the kingdom of God? Simply put, the kingdom of God can be thought of as the government of God. And just so we're on the same page, a government is a system or a group of people who have the authority to conduct the policy, actions and affairs of a state, organisation or people. So wherever you are in the world right now, you are under a specific government and that government has laws which serve as principles that we ought to live by, right? So before I go any further, by the way, I actually want to know, have you watched the Simple Gospel Message video? If you have, then pause the video right here and type yes, yes, yes in the comment section. If you haven't, then please go and watch that video then come back and then type yes, yes, yes. Don't worry, I will still be here. Now let's tackle what it means to seek this kingdom and how we get to this kingdom of God. So first things first, we must be born again through water baptism, like we just must be. So you might be watching this and thinking, well, I was baptised as a baby, but it's actually not the same because the baptism, the water baptism we're referring to in this video is through our own free will and we don't have free wills as babies. So just to go a bit deeper into what happens in this water baptism is God makes a connection with Jesus. So essentially, God sees Jesus, not us, and he makes the connection between Jesus and us in the sense that the same way that Jesus died on the cross and rose again, when we go underwater, the old person that we were dies and we rise again to a new life. So Jesus didn't just die for us, Jesus died as us. And through that water baptism that we experience, we also get baptised with the Holy Spirit. At this point, you may be thinking, am I then transformed like magic after I get after the water? The simple answer to that is no, but I will walk us through, you know, the practical steps that we do take after being baptised later on in this video. So definitely, definitely stay tuned. Another thing that you might also be thinking is, what did I do? Like, why was God mad at me personally? <laughs> That's where we have to go to the beginning of the Bible in Genesis and we see what happened between Adam and Eve. In a nutshell, God is a generational type of God and he cares about things in masses. So the human race, as in us as people, were inside the seed of Adam. Let me paint a picture. So you have a seed and that seed is planted into the ground. You'll notice that the tree comes from within the seed and the, and the tree grows outwards. In that same way, we are like trees of Adam and Eve. They were the seed, AKA the first humans to be born. So because they sinned by disobeying God in the garden, all of human race reached the ripple effect and that disobedience then caused us to no longer have direct communication or a personal relationship with God in the way that he originally intended for us to. And to throw it out there, the reason why God couldn't just, you know, magically fix things after Adam and Eve disobeyed is he is a God of law and order, which means because God's law was already written from the beginning, he couldn't then just go back on his own word suddenly pretending like what happened in the garden didn't. So this is where as time went on, because God loves us deeply and actually wants connection with us, he sent Jesus to come here on earth. But yeah, this is all further broken down in the simple gospel message video on this channel. So back to how we get to the kingdom of God. We said that we must be born again through 
water baptism and through this experience we get baptized with God's Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. So to clarify, the only way to be alive in the kingdom of God, which we have said can be thought of as the government of God, is literally to be born again. Now, is the kingdom of God a place? Mm, yes and no. The kingdom of God is within us when we receive the gift of salvation through water baptism and we're baptized with the Holy Spirit. So yes, the kingdom of God is a place in a sense that you are the place, I am the place, and no in the sense that it's not some sort of, you know, castle or something that we expect to see with our physical eyes. So then how do we seek this kingdom of God? Well, we seek to strive to, aspire to, love, have love for God and for people. First Corinthians 13 breaks down any sort of myth that we may have about love. Now, this is not something, by the way, just to put it out there, that we can actually do in our own strength. It's actually through God's Holy Spirit that empowers us to do so. John 13, 34 puts it this way. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, so also you must love one another. By this, all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. So when we love people, we're essentially fulfilling the laws of the kingdom of God, AKA God's government. And in return, God provides, he protects, he gives authority and power. And that's just to name a few. And as a side note, this is actually where we get true freedom and liberty from. So this means we are once born again, citizens of heaven, but residents here on earth. So what's next? If you haven't been born again, then I would strongly, strongly suggest that you get planted, you know, into a Bible believing church if you're not already. And then let them know that you want to be baptized. And by the way, please don't let the current state of the world stop you. Please hear me when I say that it is very possible to be baptized in your bathtub at home over Zoom with strong people of faith. So there are options. So once you are born again, get to know and understand how the kingdom aka the government of god works the same way in which we would discover how to you know start an online business become an influencer build our careers look into the best supplier for hair you know or whatever it might be for you we need to have that same energy into discovering what the kingdom of god is and to take you a step further we have some great, great content here on this channel to support you in taking the practical steps, you know, like the how to get closer to God playlist. So definitely, definitely check it out. And in the next video, we are talking about how to spread the gospel effectively. So definitely stay plugged in. In this video, we've been able to, you know, dive deeper into what the kingdom of God is and how we can better seek the kingdom of God. I'm particularly keen for all of us, you know, women as faith to become ambassadors of God. Therefore, you have free access to an extract of my book, which is called A Young Woman's Guide to Seeking God, and you can get your copy below this video. Now, I want you to remember that this channel exists to serve you, so please, please, please like, comment, subscribe, and I look forward to catching you every single Tuesday where we have a new video for you. Hasta luego y adios. Ha, ha, ha.